Titans is returning with its second season in just a couple days, and with the season, a lot of new DC characters have been confirmed to either debut or return in the upcoming season. Now, in this video, I'm going to be going over every character that's already been confirmed for the upcoming season of Titans, every character who is returning from season one, as well as every character who has been confirmed to debut. I'll go over the actors who play them, and if, this is a, if there was a description released, then I'll go over that description as well as who they are in the comics. So, with that in mind, let's begin this video with the main cast of Season 2. Season 2 more than doubles the cast of Season 1. Season 1's main cast consists of four characters, Brenton Thwaites as Dick Grayson aka Robin, Anna Diop as Coriander, also known as Cory Anders, also in the comics named Starfire but never called that on the show, Tegan Croft as Rachel Roth, also known Raven in the comics, and Ryan Potter as Garfield Logan aka Beast Boy. The cast of Season 2 has four characters that were in Season 1 that were recurring characters but have been up the series regulars in Season 2 and two new characters. There's um, Minka Kelly as Dawn Granger, aka Dove, and Alan Richardson as Hank, Hank Hall, aka Hawk. So, Hawk and Dove, who are recurring characters in Season 1, will be main characters in Season 2 and probably will be joining the Titans. Then there's Cor Curran Walters as Jason Todd, aka Robin, who was again a recurring character in Season 1, but it was up to main character or a series regular in Season 2 as the main Robin of this universe at, at this point. Also, Connor Leslie as Donna, Donna Troy, aka a Wonder Girl, who again was never Wonder Girl in season one, only like before the events of season one. But based off the trailer of season two, it's very clear that she will be suiting up as Wonder Girl yet again in the upcoming season. So those are all the returning characters of the main cast. Technically, actually, that's not true. There is one more character who did technically appear at the end of Season 1, while there's only a single character in the entirety of the main cast who is technically a new character. The character who is technically returning is Joshua Orpin, playing Con Connor Kent, aka Superboy, who's been described as an angsty superhuman teenager searching for purpose and the truth, uh, truth about his past. We saw him at the end of Season 1, escaping from Cadmus along with Crypto. The description of his uh, character is very, very similar to what we saw in Young justice also in the comics he's usually very angsty and angry and the truth about his past is that typically he's a clone of lex luthor and superman created by cadmus and that is probably what they're going with in this season as both of those characters i'll get to them later in this video but they both seem to be appearing in this season but superboy will be joining the titans on the main cast in the upcoming season along with uh Azai morales playing uh slade wilson aka deathstroke the main villain of the season Slade Wilson is described as an enhanced elite soldier and assassin who sells his services to the highest bidder. That is a very vague description of a character and doesn't really give away anything about his role in the season. It really just says that at least that part of it is comic book accurate. He is an enhanced elite soldier who is a mercenary in the comics, so that is very accurate. And I feel like there will be a lot more comic book accuracy in this season. His costume looks very similar to his new 52 costume, which I think looks amazing. I think that this costume already looks better than the Arrow costume because I, it looks more comic book accurate it looks uh, a lot more uh, uh, higher quality higher production i don't know if this version of slade wilson will be better than the arrow version but i do think he does have a better costume but i think his role in this season will be a lot more comic book accurate as it ties in to the teen titans based off the trailers it seems like the original teen titans consisted of robin hawk and dove uh wonder girl and aqualad maybe a speedy and kid flash but there's nothing about them about the season or the trailer that would confirm that but i would just guess that that might be the case but it seems like they did go up against Deathstroke in the past. I'm going to uh, theorize that considering Grant Wilson, who is the son of Slade Wilson, is not in this season while Rose Wilson, Joseph Wilson, and obviously Slade Wilson are, I think that Grant Wilson is dead. In the comics, he Grant Wilson is a part of Slade's origin story, or a, a part of why he hates the Teen Titans. Grant Wilson went to work for Hive, he got enhanced uh, He got an enhanced serum, became Ravager, but died in a fight against the Teen Titans. Deathstroke uh, blamed the Teen Titans for this, so that is why he hates the Teen Titans, because he, he thinks that they killed his son, and that will probably be the case in the season, considering Grant Wilson is not a part of this season, considering Deathstroke does have a past with the Teen Titans, I'm gonna guess that that is the past, so that's why when he sees the Teen Titans are back, or the Titans are back, based off Jason Todd saying that on TV, he goes up against them, and he will be the main villain of this season, continuing the tradition of Deathstroke being the main villain of the second season of television shows, like Teen Titans, where he was the main villain of season 2 and season 1, but also season 2 
2, also Arrow Season 2, and now Titan Season 2, and it seems to always work out, so I'm definitely very excited to see Deathstroke on screen a lot more than basically anything else in the upcoming season of Titans. So those 10 characters are the main cast of Season 2 of Titans, that cast being Dick Grayson, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, Hawk Dove, Jason Todd, Wonder Girl, Superboy, and Deathstroke. With that in mind, let's move on to the recurring cast, which begins with the children of Deathstroke, Rose Wilson aka Ravager, and Joseph Wilson aka Jericho. Rose Wilson is played by Chelsea Zhang, and she's described as Slade's daughter, who has survived on her own since youth. Uh, Rose Wilson is typically, uh, doesn't really have much of a connection to Slade Wilson, at least he, she wasn't raised by Slade, while Joseph and Gran were, as Rose Wilson is their half-sibling, I'm pretty sure. Based off the trailers, it seems like she's going to be joining the Teen Titans or the Titans fairly early on, as we see her training with Dick Grayson as uh, to become Ravager, or just training to become a member of the team. Then there's uh, Joseph Wilson, played by Cello Man, who's described as Slade's mute son, who has the power to possess other people's bodies through eye contact, definitely very comic accurate to the character in the comics, who is typically a superhero and a member of the Teen Titans, or the Titans, and that will probably be the case yet again in this season. Both of these characters, despite being the children of Deathstroke, are almost always uh, superheroes and members of the Teen Titans. A character who I expected to be a part of the main cast is uh, Drew Van Acker playing Garth aka Aqualad, who's described as Aquaman's psychic and an old friend of Dick and Donna. So we see him in the trailer in his uh, costume, which I think is one of the best costumes in this universe, along with Deathstroke, uh, both Robins, as well as Hawk and Dove, and Wonder Girl. They all have such awesome costumes, but Aqualad's might be my favorite, but I expected him to be a part of the main cast, because based off the trailer, it seems like he's rejoining the team, and that will probably be the case, but for some reason he won't be in as many episodes as the 10 characters who make up the main cast, but he was definitely part of the original Teen Titans along with Dick, Donna, Hawk, and Dove, and also again maybe Kid Flash and Speedy, but that has not been confirmed, but I'm definitely very excited to see Aqualad on screen because his costume looks awesome and we've never seen Aqualad before, so that could be, or in live action, so that could be pretty cool. Now, Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, kind of appeared in the last season, but only in a, a dream and never shown by face. It was like in the shadows. But in the, in the upcoming season of Titans, Bruce Wayne is officially appearing. It's been confirmed that they are definitely more focused on Bruce Wayne than Batman, which seems to be the case in a lot of TV shows. That seems to be the case in Crisis on Infinite Earth as well. But uh, Ian Glenn, who is most famous for playing uh, Joran Mormont on Game of Thrones, was cast as Bruce Wayne, described as Dick's former mentor and father figure, a, bill a billionaire who moonlight as a feared vigilante to quell the growing crime element in Gotham City. So, you know, basically Batman. Now, Ian Glenn, I, for some reason, still just don't see him as anything but uh, Joran Mormont. I have a hard time seeing him as Bruce Wayne, but I'm still very excited to see Bruce Wayne on screen because, I mean, he's Batman, so it probably will be pretty cool to see. And they nailed uh, most of the castings on this show, so I feel like Ian Glenn will most likely still be very good as Bruce Wayne. But as of right now, I still just see him as Joran Mormont. The final recurring character that has already been confirmed is Mercy Grays, played by Natalie Gumi, described as Lex Luthor's ruthless, cunning right hand and bodyguard. Considering she's a recurring character, I'm going to guess Lex Luthor is also going to be a recurring character, but that just hasn't been confirmed yet. So I'm going to talk about that character as well as a couple other characters in the unspecified cast uh, uh, list. The characters who have not been confirmed to be either a main character, a recurring character, or just a guest star in the upcoming season of Titan. Thank you. Recurring characters Trigon and his wife Angela Azrath, played by Seamus Dever and Rachel Nichols respectively, are going to be appearing in the upcoming season of Titans, but in terms of how many episodes that has not been confirmed, or in terms of what role, main character, recurring character, that has not been confirmed, but I'm going to guess they're probably only going to be in one episode, and that is the first episode titled Trigon, which was supposed to be the finale of season one, but then they just didn't release it as a finale, instead the premiere of season two, but I feel like they probably will be only in that episode. But then there's Genevieve Angelson playing Dr. Eve Watson. 
a Cadmus scientist who I'm guessing will probably not have that big of a role. Then there's Michael Mosley playing Arthur Light, aka Dr. Light, who is a very famous Teen Titans villain, and I will assume maybe he will have a bigger role than we now can see, as he's a big enough villain to maybe be the main villain of a season, but at least a recurring villain in one of the seasons, like this one. Then there's Henek Talbot playing Selinda Flinders, aka Shimmer, who's the sister of Mammoth, a member of the Fearsome Five, and the Hive in the Teen Titans TV show, and Selinda is not a big enough villain to be the main villain, and doesn't really necessarily need to be a recurring villain either, so it's possible, as we see in this fight with Wonder Girl and Starfire, it's probably, it's possible that she will only be in that episode, and nothing else. Finally, there's Crypto, who has not been confirmed if he's going to appear in a recurring role or a main cast role, but I feel like he probably will be in every episode. He's just not played by an actor, so they're not considering it as a main cast, but also Lex Luthor, who I'm going to be assuming is going to be a recurring character, but the actor who's playing him has not been confirmed. So that is every confirmed character appearing in Titan Season 2. There is one more character who has not been uh, confirmed, but has been reported to appear and has been a rumor, and that is Clark Kent, aka Superman, who has been reported to appear in the shadows, similar to how Batman appeared in the last season of Titans. Now, uh, Superman, it makes sense for him to appear because Lex Luthor and Superboy are appearing, and it seems like Dick Grayson will be becoming Nightwing in this season. Dick Grayson famously gets the name Nightwing from a story from Krypton, which uh, Superman tells him of a uh, superhero on Krypton named Nightwing, and Dick Grayson takes that name. Because of that, because of Luthor and Superboy, it's very likely that Superman will be appearing in this season, but considering he's going to be appearing in the shadows, or at least that is what has been reported, I don't really see how that he can give the name Nightwing to Dick Grayson or anything like that, but I am still very anticipating seeing Superman in the upcoming season, because I just want to see Titan's uh, portrayal of the character, even if it's just going to be in the shadows. So that is every character confirmed for Titan Season 2. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these characters you're most anticipating in terms of the new characters, Deathstroke, Superboy, Ravager, Jericho, Aqualad, Batman, any of them. Which one are you most excited to see in the upcoming season of Titans? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.